and I am back. Yes, it is true. I have disappeared for a couple days. I was trying to do a vlog every single day, but it turns out that's a lot more difficult than you think it's going to be, peeps. Let's to be honest with you. So here's what happened is, is I had the opportunity to run to St. Louis and be able to sit in on um, like a workshop to talk about vision on where we're going by some people that I highly respect and worked on my mind. I went with a few friends and it was just a really awesome experience because I got to see some things that are coming in 2018 and stuff. So I shot video of the little adventure heading out and you know what, sometimes it's just good to take a break so you can stay creative and stay on point and figure out what you're wanting to do. So I'm back, you're back. We're gonna continue making videos this next week, which is gonna be awesome. But before I do that, I have to sit down at my computer and I have to tell the story of what I just went and did. So it's almost like a, it's like a dream. ready to do a little road trip with the infamous Brandon Perkins. He's getting ready. Are you ready yet? I'm ready. <laughs> He's got Red Bull. We're ready. We're ready. We're ready. <laughs> so we're gonna head out. We're going to St. Louis for till tomorrow meeting with some friends for some big announcements and so I just thought I'd do a little vlog and um, have a little fun we can get Brandon to share a little bit about some of the stuff going on in his life. So, that being said, let's get to it. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. I'm always ready. Brandon, it's time, isn't it? It is time. It's time for a little adventure off the road. So uh, I'm gonna share with him and show him where Winnie ended up from my journey to Jay Leno on Route 66 and this old Winnebago. So Winnie, Brandon was part of that journey in 2009. And um, I told him, I, I said, Winnie's sitting off the side of the highway. So we're gonna go and see, I think we go straight. Yeah, we go straight. So I'm gonna show him Winnie and um, what's happened. So this ought to be fun. A good side detour. Okay, so back in 2007, I found a penny on the ground on a date with my wife, and I had this dream to trade the penny to an old Winnebago and drive Route 66 to LA from Kansas and to see Jay Leno before he retired. Long story short, I traded the penny for a computer, a computer for a car, and a car for this wonderful 72 Winnebago. and. Um, I was able to fix it all up and do all this fabulous stuff. And then in 2009, I actually made the journey to LA. And Brandon was with me the day I took off and he helped fix a lot of things on Winnie during the journey. 
And then flash forward about seven years ago, six years ago, I sold Winnie to a person and I never really knew what happened. Well, people saw it on the side of I-70 and it's actually in front of this old house. I don't know what happened or the story with the owner. He was kind of a hoarder. There's trash everywhere. Well, anyway, Winnie has really been trashed out. Like, it's really sad to see from where it was to where it is, but um, I wanted Brandon to come and see what it all looked like. So let's take a tour real quick and then maybe I can show you some of the good old glory days. <laughs> But really kind of a cool story. It is kind of sad to see the demise of Winnie, but it is what it is and it's a fabulous story full of um, ups and downs and I'm actually finishing a book on the whole deal. So it's kind of cool. Peeps, let me show you. Does it bring back some memories? I love it. This is amazing. <laughs> It was a good day that morning. Remember that morning? It was like super cold. Freezing cold. It was freezing cold, and I didn't know I was getting ready to go on the journey. I wasn't sure if it was going to make it. So, yeah, let's just... I want to show you inside, because it is nuts. All right. I'm, uh... Go ahead. After you. <laughs> I'm trying to... <laughs> Got some pants here. The glory days. The glory days. Isn't that nuts? I look, the ants are taking over. I guess it's a good place for the ants to live. Somebody probably. It's kind, of, it's kind of amazing to think where this thing has all been. Yeah. Look, the pennies are still on the ceiling up there. Yep. This thing has uh, has a lot of good memories, at least in your mind. I mean, it may not be good memories for whoever lived or had it last, but other than that, it was good memories for us. kind of crazy like we used to sit like right there and we talk yeah it, it was uh freezing cold that day now it's hotter than Hades it is very hot today <laughs> it is nuts though so like every penny you see on the ceiling peeps all those pennies that are up there each one of them represented a dollar that somebody gave me for the journey and then it was actually covered this was all covered in pennies all the way back but the ceiling's falling down. So, what's on? This one back here? What is it? Happiness is homemade. <laughs> Aw, that's nice. It was quite the adventure. If you're ever on I-70 outside of Columbia, Missouri, you will drive and see this old Winnebago sitting here underneath this sign it will say dare to dream it was a dream that's all it started out to be and I um, was very blessed to be able to go on that journey so it's a good side stop for me and Brandon just to reflect a little bit so um, yeah awesomeness let's go on to the next adventure yep closed uh, closed one book Open up. I like that little microphone thingy. You like that? I mean, it just looks like a little, like a, like a, um, a lucky rabbit's tail. <laughs> Doesn't it? <laughs> it's fluffy, bounces. Maybe it could be. It is lucky. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of unlucky right now because we're stuck in traffic. We but I think our luck is going to change. Since we're stuck in traffic, 
what do you think of our little journey so far? Did you enjoy seeing Winnie? I very much enjoyed seeing Winnie. Now we're stuck in traffic in St. Louis. That's a blessing. It is a blessing. <laughs> but we're going to something very, 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 yeah. very fun. What are we doing tomorrow? Let's let the cat out. Well, we can't really let the cat out of the bag because we can't divulge all the information. Um, I guess we could say we're getting ready to hear the new stuff that's coming. Yes. Amazing new stuff that's coming that's going to set our butts on fire to get this thing rolling again. Yep. And I'm excited for it. And I think a lot of people are going to be excited for seeing what the new stuff is. So apparently I'm staying in the Hollywood Casino. And Brandon was staying at the Hollywood Casino, but now he's not. Why aren't which, you staying at Hollywood Casino now? Which I'm very upset about because I don't like being split up. But why? Why tell tell them why we're not you're not staying at the Hollywood Casino. Tell them. Well, <laughs> tell them. Tell them why you're not staying. Do you really want me to yes, tell them? Yes, I want you to tell them why you're not staying. Because through a grapevine, I heard that the Hollywood Casino has a <laughs> tell them a very <laughs> extreme <laughs> bed bug problem yeah <laughs> and your boy todd can't cancel his because i've paid for my hotel room so i can't so i get to stay with the bed bugs <laughs> <laughs> meanwhile brandon's ditched me to the side uh, so if i wake up with like red dots all over me tomorrow i'm, I'm gonna, gonna be a little unhappy and i'm gonna feel very 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 bad for you <laughs> i'll turn my back if i have to laugh but <laughs> i'm not gonna be happy <laughs> i'm gonna be bad i'm gonna be so mad then we'll have to torture truck because don't bed bugs they can get in anything right oh i never thought of that so we'll have to, one thing we'll have to do is put your suitcase and everything in the back no it doesn't help my clothes well you're gonna have to drive back naked <laughs> and we're gonna shave your head <laughs> be horrible it wouldn't be I'd, for me because I'd, i wouldn't have bed bugs i'd go home and she'd be like where'd your hair go or like, no she'd say why is every part of your body have little red dots on it and you're also bald? What did you guys do in St. Louis? What? <laughs> Weekend with Brandon. Yeah. You're never you never going with Brandon. We again. are blocking Brandon on all social media and our Brand, phones. Yeah. All right. I'm getting off here now. We'll see if the wreck's up here. Say goodbye. Bye-bye. Deuces. Did you just do deuces? Deuces. deuces. Two and two. I'll be back in two and two. We'll be back in two and two. At least uh, Jillies. Jillies. At least Jillies. I don't know what we're doing in Jillies. Do you know what we're doing in Jillies? You know what we're having. We're not. You know what we're doing in Jillies? What are we doing in we're Jillies? We're gonna have a jolly time. In we're Jillies. having a jolly Jilly time. Yep. A Jilly Jolly time. <laughs> in Jillies. In Jillies. It's a steakhouse. <laughs>